In the summer of 2021, a 17-year-old boy died after overdosing on pills that were laced with fentanyl. Now, two years later, the man who allegedly sold the kid the pills is in custody. As News 13's Jay Coulter tells us, authorities say this is a cautionary tale about the dangers of buying drugs off the street. 27-year-old Patrick Kelly Jones is in custody for his alleged role in the death of William Couch. He is facing a manslaughter charge. Bay County Sheriff's Office investigators discovered Couch unresponsive at a Callaway home in July of 2021. I have probable cause to believe the defendant's Patrick Jones, Jones was the uh, one that he sold some pills to the victim. Uh, the victim subsequently overdosed on those pills and he was pronounced deceased. An autopsy revealed that Couch's cause of death was in fact fentanyl toxicity. During the investigation, Jones's phone search history revealed that the day after Couch's death, Jones searched if someone could be arrested for selling drugs someone overdosed on. He also searched to see how long a toxicology report takes. After further investigation, authorities believe Jones sold the fentanyl laced pills to an unwitting couch. When you're younger, you don't really think about, you know, this could be fake, it could be pressed. Uh, you literally are taking your life in your hands when you buy, you know, substances off the street like this that you don't know what's in it. So just be cautious, be careful, you know, is it worth it? Is it worth your life? Authorities say Jones denies selling any kind of pills. He was in court Monday for a bond hearing. He's being held in the Bay County Jail on $250,000 bond. In Bay County, Jay Coulter, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Jones was extradited back to Bay County from Walton County this past Friday after he was arrested and sentenced on misdemeanor charges in Walton late last year.